Have you ever wondered what separates successful individuals from the rest? Well, the secret lies in their ability to be truly valuable. In this video, I am going to take you on a journey by sharing the essence of value and by the end, you will discover how to unlock your own potential for greatness. So stay tuned because it's time to learn the art of being valuable. What's up guys, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Oluwa Feromi Omojula and this is What's Up Biggie. If you're a new viewer, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and welcome to the What's Up Biggie family. Some of the importance of being valuable in personal and professional life is that it leads to personal growth. If you continuously push yourself to learn and improve, it will lead to your own personal growth. Another importance is that it leads to career advancement. Being valuable at your workspace is key to your career growth. You will be recognized and rewarded for the value you contribute. Then it leads to influence and leadership. You will be seen as a leader and an influence when you are valuable at your workplace. Being valuable also leads to confidence and self-esteem. When you contribute value to people, then it increases your self-confidence and also improves your own self-esteem. Being valuable also leads to reputation and trust. When you have a track record of being valuable, it leads to a good reputation and also people trusting you and also entrusting more responsibilities on you. Now listen to this story. There once lived a young man named Alan who lived in Brass Town. Alan constantly inspired the people of the town and provided valuable and life-changing advices to them. Gradually, the people of Brass Town changed till the extent that Brass Town became a renowned town and the envy of neighboring towns. When Alan died, the people of Brass Town honored him for the positive impact he made in their lives. Some of the lessons to learn from this story is that your little act of kindness goes a long way. You also have to desire to sow positive seeds everywhere you go to and also build men. Then the last lesson is that you will be remembered for how you made others feel when you were with them. We'll be moving on to what it means to be valuable. But before that, you need to know that every human being has value in them. Psalm 139 verses 13 to 14 says that For you created my inmost being, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. This is to tell you that God created everybody with value in them. To be valuable means to positively and meaningfully impact your refined and deployed gift on others and the world around you. Your gift is your value and anything that constitutes an advantage to your life and can be deployed to serve God and bless humanity. Value goes beyond monetary work. It's about your contributions and impact to the world and the people around you. Key principles or tips on how to be valuable. Deploy your God-given gifts to the world. Your gift makes room for you and brings you before great men. Your gift is your influence. Be committed to personal development. When you improve yourself, then everything around you also improves to match your mental level. Then you need to refine your gifts. You have to refine your gift at every point in time. It could be serving your gift freely to people around you or to your local church. Then you need to work harder on yourself than you do on your job. People work harder on their jobs than they do on themselves, which is wrong. You need to work harder on yourself than you do on your job. Then you need to look for problems and provide solutions to it. When you are seen as a solution provider, then people will value you more or you'll be valuable to any organization you belong to. Bishop David Oedepo said that no raw material has real value. It has to be processed and refined if you must get the best of value out of it. Some practical applications of some of these tips is that you need to practice self-reflection. Assess your strengths, your passions, your skills, and even your weaknesses. For you to be valuable, you need to practice self-reflection. You need to continuously learn. Let's invest in your own growth. Take courses, read books, just improve yourself. You need to be reliable and you need to honor your commitment. Be a man of your words. When you say you're going to do something, make sure that you do it. And you also have to be the go-to person in your organization, at your place of work, at your church. Make sure that you are very, very valuable. Make sure that people can always count on you. Then you need to build strong relationships. When you build stronger connections with friends and family, it can enhance your value and well-being. Then you need to stay positive and have a positive outlook on life. 
If you found this video valuable, please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and also share this video with your friends and family. Let me also know what lessons you've learned from this video so far. Can you leave it in the comment section below and I'll respond to it. In this video, we learned that deploying your gift is the first step to becoming valuable. We also learned that you must be committed to personal development and we also learned that you must work harder on yourself than you do on your jobs. Thank you very much guys for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys. Please follow me on social media. Follow me on Facebook at Olua Feromio Modular and also follow me on Instagram at Ferrobigi. Thank you very much and I'll see you in my next video.